Anfield is a shrine to any supporter of Liverpool and a daunting prospect for any visiting team. Bob Paisley and the side he inherited from Bill Shankly won the League, FA Cups, League Cups, UEFA Cups and European Cups, arguably the most successful British team ever, and a hard act for Joe Fagan to follow. Kenny Dalglish had joined Liverpool from Celtic. As a player, he was exceptional. As a manager, inspirational. And in many ways, this programme is a tribute to him. Ian Rush came of age during the 80s, a goal-scoring machine. It's difficult to imagine him playing at home anywhere else. Craig Johnston, flamboyant and extrovert, the only Australian ever to play at Wembley in an FA Cup final. And Ronnie Whelan, Republic of Ireland international and a real talent for scoring vital goals. There was Steve McMahon, an aggressive midfielder. He scored against his old club Everton on his debut for Liverpool. John Aldridge, certainly not a man to play second fiddle, he scored often enough to play the lead. John Barnes has his critics, he answers them consistently though, and often with the ball in the back of the net. Peter Beardsley, at the time Liverpool's most expensive player. He came from Newcastle for £1.9 million. Graham Souness had been a midfield Ironman, and he returned to manage Liverpool with a cool head. But it's the cop that best signifies Liverpool Football Club, and that's a place you'll never be alone. Bob Paisley had stepped down after being the first manager to lift the League Cup at Wembley and Liverpool were defending league champions in 83-84, Joe Fagan the man in charge. And that's a useful ball for Dalglish. And here's Rush, deflection, Robinson, good save, Johnston. teams don't appreciate. Lee, Dalglish, Lee again, Robinson, back heel to Dalglish, surely, yes it was, it's on here, and Dalglish has scored a quite magnificent goal, and Liverpool prove again that there's no team better. Soon as for Liverpool. Robinson has worked tirelessly for Liverpool's cause, particularly since Johnston was sent off, and they were reduced to ten men. He really has had an excellent game. Here's Lee. Sunas. Alglish wanting it. And Robinson. And that's the hat-trick. And the man of the match, deservedly, gets number three for Liverpool. Hanson. Alglish. Again, trying to get it inside. Harper does so this time as Nickel makes a good break. Played in there, Southall did well, can Rush get in there? 1-0 to Liverpool. Ian Rush, the man who just can't stop scoring goals, has got the vital first one in this derby game. And again, Sonis, this time for Dalglish. He's got Rush waiting in the middle, off the post, and it's in there by Robinson. Dalglish finding Rush. And now Mark Lawrenson. Houston once more. And the header goes down and it goes in from Steve Nicholl and that makes it three. Here's Wharton. Can the team respond? That's the big question. But responding for Liverpool is Johnston. Trying to get round his man. He did and rush. 2-0. It's so easy. Liverpool style. Right, Sunes. Johnston, Neil, this is Lee, and it's Johnston, oh he's done well here is Craig Johnston, what a good finish, and he's had quite a night, Liverpool supporters celebrate goal number three, Craig Johnston round Kenny Wharton, the keeper came off the post and it went through his legs, the short corner is taken. Sunis.
Johnston. Oh, and Robinson's in there, and Rush is in there, and in goes number four. Newcastle taken apart now, and Liverpool finish off in style. Lawrence and to Neil. Robinson touched down nicely into the path of Rush. Look at that pace again. And the shot, and the goal! This season, he's just this week signed a four-year contract. Joe Fagan said just before the start, what a good bit of business that was. And Ian Rush has proved it. Kennedy. Robinson. Oh, that'll come off Fennec to Sammy Lee. Rush trying to get it on for Robinson. 2-0. been played short again to Lee it's come back to Phil Neal to drive and Kennedy might hit one and what a goal that was a quite tremendous shot by Alan Kennedy and so typical of the kind of goal he often scores and Craig Johnston operating mainly on the right in this first half Whelan's come this side as well now and Neil and Lee Walks made his run near post and it ran on and now oh, Ian Rush has equaled Roger Hunt's record Ian Rush was the PFA player of the year football writers player of the year and Liverpool's top scorer with 42 goals and that in a year that Liverpool took the league the league cup and the European cup Rush didn't start the next season due to a knee injury. Souness had joined Sampdoria, but Liverpool still had goal scorers they could always rely on. Nickel. He did well, Nickel. Walsh on the far post. And it's turned in, and it may have come off the defender. worming his way through, Dalglish encouraging him to go on, and a goal, Steve Nicholl for Liverpool, Rush just staying on side, Dalglish in the middle, walk in there too, and Nicholl, across the goal, The terrible tragedy of Heysel overshadowed all events on the pitch in 84-85. On the resignation of Joe Fagan, Kenny Dalglish took over as player-manager and also on the playing staff, Steve McMahon had joined in September from Aston Villa. Rush. Lovely done. Wolford was tight on him. Nicol. Using the full width of the pitch. Johnston! Their level. So then away go Everton from right to left in front of this capacity crowd, 52 and a half thousand, a sellout crowd. Everton having won the last three derby matches, but as Kenny Dalglish says, that counts for nothing on the day. Derby matches are one-offs. Here's Dalglish. Oh, the goal! What a start from Liverpool! It's a magnificent call by Dalglish. Well, I was just saying they're one-offs, and that's a one-off from Kenny Dalglish. Brace well. Look out for Stevens. Whelan's away, and here's Rush. It must be two. Played by Van den Hel, and his father is McMahon. That was an excellent ball. Play to Whelan. Beglin. Dalglish. Ted Dengis with his back to the goal. McMahon! 3 0, and Steve McMahon has surely now put this game beyond his old club, Everton. Liverpool.
Clean at the start of the second half on the break here with Rush. Walks in the middle and Johnston two. Must be a goal, yes! Rush has gone on. Finds himself one against one. It's Greg Johnston. Walsh! Yes! Nickel. Walsh. Always looks capable of setting something up for Liverpool. Craig Johnston's cross. Rush! Yes! This is Beglin. Well played by Jim Beglin to Sammy Lee. And Sammy Lee was fought against the post. Johnny Walk! 1-1! Headed by McCarthy, here's Mulvey, rushes in there, oh and it fell to McMahon, McMahon has scored. Hansen, Dalglish, here's Mulvey, and now Johnston, and he fires it across, McMahon, he's got his second. Now Dalglish. Little flick. So Johnston kept his feet well as Hagen went in. And now Whelan arriving late again. And this time it's in there. Here comes Gillespie. Rush. A one two with Gillespie. Trying to play it back again. And Gillespie, his second. Oh, the sky has begun to fall in on Birmingham now. Beglin again. Whelan. And Dalglish is in here. Yes! The player manager scores the goal that may edge Liverpool nearer to their 16th championship. The fans celebrate 24 minutes gone. Jim Beglin's presence in the Liverpool attack was so important. He had the earlier shot, he stayed forward, and when Dalglish got free, that was an unerring finish by the man who has taken over as player manager this season. And Liverpool Football Club have won the first division title for the 16th time in Kenny Dalglish's first season as player manager. What an achievement. celebrate the eighth championship in 11 seasons and the Liverpool players every right to congratulate each other and the people that come and watch is able to want to win anyway and obviously we're absolutely delighted for ourselves and also for them Scoring the winning goal to take the league championship in his first season as manager though wasn't enough Dalglish had even more to deliver in the FA Cup final against Everton, Liverpool were trailing 1-0 to a Gary Lineker goal, but then didn't they come storming back? Here's Whelan. Mulby. And here's Rush onside. In Rush. Goal. The referee was knocked over in the excitement, but Ian Rush has equalised for Liverpool. Here's Rush. Dalglish is up, so is Mulby here. Dalglish, no Johnston, yes! 2-1 to Liverpool! Craig Johnston! This is Whelan. That's Johnston. This is Rush. Mulby again. Oh, I say. His vision there was lovely. Whelan. And Dalgley and rushes on the far side. Is this three? It is! Ian Rush again. And surely now the double is about to be won. Liverpool became only the fifth club to achieve the League and FA Cup double. And how Alan Hansen savoured the moment.